I think it's finally time. Today, we're gonna be decluttering all of my makeup. I'm stressed. This is probably the biggest declutter video I have ever done. Comment down below and let me know how many products you think I decided to declutter. So sit tight, grab a drink, maybe put me in the background and do some cleaning and organization with me because it's gonna be a long one. But like, I'm clenching onto it because I'm like, oh, don't take it away from me. Hi, gorgeous. Welcome back to my beauty room. Today is a special day because it's beautiful outside. I can feel the New England weather changing a little bit. It's still a little bit, you know, unpredictable. Some days are super cold, some days are super warm, but we're getting to that point where spring is upon us. So I think it's finally time to do some spring cleaning, go through all of my makeup and declutter it. It's gonna be a little bit messy. We're gonna get down and dirty with all of the makeup and I'm gonna make some really hard decisions. With all of that being said, make sure you watch until the end of the video to find out how much makeup I actually got rid of and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I will be filming this entire video with my cute little Hello Kitty headphones because this is my way of tricking myself that I'm super focused and it it kind of cancels out all of the other noise. One last sip of my coffee. All right, y'all, let's do this thing. I had to change into a more comfortable sweater because we're gonna be doing a lot today. I'm already overwhelmed. Today is also not meant to be like a deep cleaning day or an organization day. It's meant to be a full on just declutter, go through what I have, decide what I wanna keep, not keep, but I can't do that right now until I clean off my vanity because as you can tell, it's a hot freaking mess. I can't do anything with it like this. I just did my makeup, so it usually ends up looking like this after I do my makeup. So we're just gonna clean everything first. Okay, I'm gonna pick up all of my dirty brushes. I definitely need to get these cleaned this week. I'm just gonna put them in my dirty brush pile to clean. These are also dirty brushes. Gonna put them in the dirty brush pile, I think. Those are dirty. They're all dirty, so we're gonna clean these another day. I'm not organizing them perfectly right now because I am gonna end up taking all of these out, but I just kind of want to put things in piles so it makes my life so much easier when I'm decluttering foundations, when I'm decluttering bronzers, when I'm decluttering blushes. So I have two Glow Recipe Huge Ops, Dew Drops. I have the Huge Ops that I recently just bought. I'm definitely keeping that. And then the Dew Drops, it's, I feel like I'm out of it, but I keep having more. So mm, it smells so good. It smells so good. Um, no, I still think I have a good chunk of this left. So I guess I'm gonna keep this. I thought I was out of this. So I was gonna get rid of that. These are things that need to go into another room. So tip, instead of like walking all the way to put it in another room, I usually get like a basket or something and I put all the stuff that doesn't belong in here in that basket and then I redistribute later so I don't have to like get up a million times. <laughs> Ooh, look it, I also ran out of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray today. As you can tell, there's nothing in it. So this is gonna be a trash recycle. I'm pretty sure I could recycle this. And this is my pile of foundations that I need to add to my other pile of foundations. And we're gonna start from there. I also have a glowy filter situation here. So I'm gonna keep this. This is just gonna get to the side. And we're gonna bring this to the floor. So I'm gonna take out any foundation and concealer and powder, cause we're gonna declare those first out of this drawer, which is my everyday makeup drawer. And it seems to still have so much stuff in it. More foundations that are from my makeup drawers. And these are concealers and powders from my makeup drawer. 
and would you look at that, I have more powders. <laughs> I may or may not be regretting my decision to dump everything out and do it on the ground, but here we are. <laughs> We've made it. I think I want to start with foundation first. So I'm just going to grab anything that's foundation related and anything that I'm keeping, I'm going to put back in one of these containers. So number one is going to be It Cosmetics Matte Natural Matte CC Cream. I actually did a brand deal with them and I truly love this CC cream. I used to love the original CC cream, but then it got too like oily and greasy for me. And this one is specifically made for oily skin and I absolutely love it. I'm wearing it today. So we are for sure keeping that. Oh, I still have the two Chanel Ultra Latins. I meant to declutter one and I did in one of my videos and then I never got rid of it because I can't let go. So we are going to keep, I don't know. So we're going to keep B50 because we need to commit. I also have two foundation. These are the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundations. I have 480, 482. I need both of these shades because they need to be mixed together. So we are keeping that. I also have two L'Oreal True Match nudes two of them one is too dark and one is too light for me i don't know what it is about l'oreal but their shades are just not a match for me and i do like this tinted serum but i don't wear it as often as i would like i think where i struggle is that when it comes to certain products if i haven't talked about it in a video i don't want to let go of it and i have yet to talk about this in a video and show it in a video so i don't want to let go of it so i'm not gonna <laughs> I am going to get rid of the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. I give this a pretty decent review, but out of all of my foundations, it's not the best of the best. So I'm happy to get rid of this, but I still stand by, depending on your budget and what you like, this is a good CC cream. If I were to compare it to IT Cosmetics though, the natural matte CC cream is better for oily skin. This is better for like combo dry skin. All right, we have even more foundations. Y'all, if you can't tell, I'm a sucker for foundations and I do actually like rotate through them all. Surprising enough, Estee Lauder, Double Wear, Stay in Place. One of my faves, she's being kept. Maybelline Fit Me, Matte and Poreless, one of my other faves. <laughs> Keeping Tom Ford in the shade Sable. It's slightly too light for me, but I do really like this foundation, so we're keeping. L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable N6. I love the shade match of this. For the first time ever, I found a good match in L'Oreal. So I'm keeping this for reference, but I don't, the formula is okay. Laura Mercier, y'all know I like this. So we're keeping Fenty Beauty, we're keeping. I'm doing a terrible job right now. All right, I have Fenty Beauty Match, what is this called? Eavesdrop Blur Stick. I meant to make a whole video about this and I never did. And I don't really like it that much. Am I ready to get rid of it? No. Should I have a pile of like makeup to make videos about? Mm. Oh, and this is the CoverGirl Essence that I have yet to make a video about. Spoiler, it's not good, especially if you have oily skin. These are mediocre. I am going to have to. It's like, what do I want in my makeup collection? Do I want makeup that I actually wear? Do I want to keep some makeup for the sake of content? Part of me is like, I want to keep the makeup for the sake of content because what if I want to film something with this? But then again, it's like, this CoverGirl Essence is really not that good. And I don't know what content I would make of it. And then the Fenty Beauty Blur Stick is also just mediocre to me. We'll keep this in like content maybe pile. So I won't fully get rid of this anytime soon, but it will be in a pile of content makeup, like not my own, you know? The Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, this was one of the best drugstore tinted moisturizers I've ever tried. And I'm not a tinted moisturizers person, highly recommend it. Oh, I need to declutter the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've been trying to make this work and it's not good. It's actually kind of sticky and it doesn't fully set. And now I'm like, why? Especially if I compare it to the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion, this one is so much better than the Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And it is mm, so much cheaper, so much cheaper. Keeping the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion, well, Glotion, that's what it's called. Unfortunately, going to give this away. I'm sure someone else will like it, just not me. Um, do I have any other primers? Yes, I do. I have the NYX Marshmallow Primer, she's a keep. I have the Glow Recipe Huge Drops Dew Drops keep. Let's get into some concealers now because I have plenty 
of concealers to go around here, like many, many concealers, okay? First of all, the Maybelline Superstay. This is in the shade 27. It is way too yellow for me and it doesn't match my skin tone, so we're decluttering. I forgot, I just saw the Glossier foundation. I'm keeping the Glossier foundation, it's a good foundation. I am going to declutter finally the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Peach. It isn't the right peach color for me, so decluttering that. Also gonna declutter the Pro Conceal in the shade Yellow, because I don't really use it that often, so. Ooh, what I am getting rid of is the Fenty Beauty Wear Even Hydrating Long Wear Concealer. I did a whole entire review video about this. I do not like it. The House Labs Concealer, this is good for under the eyes, not for anything else, but I think I'm gonna declutter it because I like the Colfi Concealer better. This is my all-time favorite under eye concealer. It's my new holy grail. So House Labs, you've been demoted, unfortunately. Fired! And then the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector is the color corrector that I'm keeping because I actually feel like it works for me for the first time. Also, another holy grail. So we are going to give both of these a promotion in my makeup collection. Hourglass, keeping the Hourglass Concealer. It's full, full coverage. I really like this concealer. Kosas Concealer. I haven't used this in a while. I also haven't used the Tower 28 in a while. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer. Uh, it's a good concealer and I actually really like this, but out of everything else I own, I don't really use it that often and it's not my all time favorite, but part of me was like, should I keep it for content? And you know what? The answer is no, because I have another drugstore concealer I actually like better. And that concealer is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in the shade Caramel, so we're keeping. Keeping the Rare Beauty Under Eye Concealer. I don't use this often, but but I do like having it. And I will keep the Tower 28 and Kosas concealer for now. That's because I feel like I need to rotate it. And if I find that it's mediocre in comparison to everything else, we're saying goodbye. All right, I'm gonna go through my powders really quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. So, oh no, I think I'm getting rid of this. Givenchy Prisma Libre. We're gonna put this in the content pile, but it's being decluttered. Fenty Beauty. Pro Filter content pile, but it's being decluttered. Huda Beauty Banana Bread content pile, but it's being decluttered. I don't need all of these powders, but I'm doing this because I think that I'm gonna make a full on powder roundup video someday, whenever I get to it, and I don't wanna have to repurchase these. I'm keeping my one size powders. I have Ultra Pink and Sweet Honey, keeping those. Keeping my Hourglass powder, LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Pigment. I feel like this will come in handy one day, so. I guess we're keeping. Nyx can't stop, won't stop. Keeping, 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 keeping. Content pile, keeping. Gucci, keeping. I have a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is all I have left before I have to buy another one. Obviously keeping that, y'all know I like that. So we did some decluttering, it wasn't really that successful unfortunately but it is what it's gonna be <laughs> it is what it's gonna be ah, okay i'm already overwhelmed see these are all of my blush bronzers contours and highlights let's get into it because i know this one is gonna be quite a hard one first of all i have my patrick ta blushes i have the shade she's the moment just enough. We're keeping the two colors that I recently purchased for sure. And then the shade She's a Doll. And I've already decluttered the shade She's Blushing. So I already know that I'm gonna keep these. I have three Pat McGrath powders. One is a bronzer in the shade Bronzer Vana. I really love this formula, but the shade is kind of off, but I feel like it's going to match me in the summer. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then I have two of her blushes. One is in the shade Desert Orchid. And then I have the shade in Divine Rose 3. Keeping those because I really do love these powders. Off to a questionable, questionable start. I can declutter this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Wand in the shade Pinkgasm. It's halfway gone. It's also probably expired by this point and it's not my favorite. So declutter it goes. I also have the Victoria Beckham Cream Blush in the shade Playground. This is fairly new, so we're keeping. Physician's Formula Butter 
glow contour wand keeping oh this is like my everyday makeup drawer so these two shades the matte beauty blush wands from charlotte tilbury my favorites were keeping what i can get rid of though because i do love these two i actually don't really like the shade pillow talk as much if i were to pick the like which shades i'm going to use the most or do use the most it's going to be the red and the orange not really a mauvey purple so this is definitely going to be decluttered i feel like a friend would really like this so we're giving that one away i also have the rare beauty blushes which i don't use as often now that i have these but i do really like owning a few of the colors um i've decluttered some rare beauty like blushes in the past and you know what i think i can declutter another one just kidding that's a different shade <laughs> i already decluttered the shades that i know i didn't like so these are the ones that i'm continuing to keep the elf liquid blush in the shade dusty rose keeping oh i think i can declutter this finally <laughs> i have a hard time letting go of this because it's like one of those it girl products that you see everyone using and you want to like it so badly but it's not that i don't like it and i've done a video about this i think it's good and i can see why people like it but in comparison to everything else i own it's not the best it's not but i feel like someone i know will really enjoy this so we're decluttering it LYS Cream Bronzer is an example of one that's better than the Makeup by Mario. This is also way more pigmented. I love this and I think this is going to be amazing in the summer. Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer is one of my favorites. We are keeping both shades just because I have a darker and a lighter shade and I find use for both of them. And then I also have the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. I really enjoy. Next to that is my all-time favorite and if I were to get rid of all of my cream bronzers and keep one it would be this i think hands down this is by far still the best cream bronzer i've ever tried it's the huda beauty tantor in the shade light this is my second one and i've used this for years and every time i come back to it it still stands as my holy grail so keep that in mind i do have two of the physicians formula butter glows i'm gonna keep the shade fair light and then give this one to a friend this is in the shade medium deep because it's slightly too red and deep for me i'm also gonna give away and declutter this mini tart sculpt tape in the shade medium cool because i already have this and i like the physicians formula better the next sweet cheeks in the shade nude too this is one of my favorite shades it's the most unique nude shade in my entire blush collection actually so i just convinced myself to keep that one oh well okay now we have lys cream blush lys powder bronzer i can say right off the bat i love this cream blush it's one of my recommendations i still recommend it my problem is i realize i don't like the color i have the shade in confident and this is also a reminder that i'm not a fan of mauvey rosy colors like this one and like the pillow talk blush wand that i just decluttered so I'm decluttering this one too. I feel pretty good about decluttering it now because before I was keeping it because I loved the formula, but I don't really like the shade. So maybe one day I'll buy a different shade. Maybelline City Bronzer. This had so much hype. It's a really good bronzer, but holy crap, is it too deep for me. I think I got the wrong shade. I have it in the shade 300, which is one of the deeper shades. So I'm considering, should I declutter this to somebody? Mm. No, because I have yet to talk about this in a video. I also have, okay, this one's Formula, so one of my favorites, Fenty Beauty. I love this one. It's such a beautiful caramel bronzer. It's in the shade Caramel Cutie. I need to declutter the Makeup by Mario. It's in the shade Poppy Pink. It is way too hot pink for my liking. So we're gonna declutter this and I feel like a friend would like this way better than me. Rare Beauty Highlighter, one of my favorites, Keeping. This is the Tower 28 Magic Hour Cream Blush. I was really shocked that I really enjoyed this formula, so Keeping and the shade is pretty. I don't want to get rid of this Gucci blush, y'all, but I don't like it. I don't like it, but I don't want to get rid of it. I think it's time. We're going to say goodbye to the Gucci blush. Chanel blush. I really like this a lot in the fall, so I think I'm going to keep it for that reason, at least until next autumn. I need to rotate this powder bronzer more so we're gonna keep that because i do like the formula milani luminoso blush this is really pretty so keeping that and also keeping the bronzer bronzer from bare minerals and kiss of copper this is a good summer shade everything else here i'm keeping so i'm not even just gonna go through that oh 
Y'all, I love this e.l.f. Halo Glow, 10 out of 10, recommend. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand. I have the shade in medium tan. This was a shockingly good purchase, 10 out of 10. Everything else I'm keeping in terms of like bronzer, I know I'm keeping this. This is keeping this is questionable. I really love the packaging. This is a good formula, the Anastasia Glow Seeker Highlighter in the shade Sun Idol. I got this in November. However, when I compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and when I compare it to the Rare Beauty highlighter, it just doesn't compete in terms of shade. I think the shade is a little bit too light on me as a highlighter. It's too blinding and frosty. So I'm just gonna have to give this to someone who has a lighter skin or would prefer a highlighter the shade and maybe they'll enjoy it more than me because it doesn't work for me. Now we're gonna get to the hard part, which is the palettes. This is the hard part. For sure, keeping the leopard palette. This one is by far my favorite palette for my skin tone. Now we have the Owl palette and we have the Elefante palette. This was last year's holiday palette. Ooh, yep, still like those shades, still like that color. I may have to declare with the Hourglass, the Owl one, because the shades are just not, like a little bit too deep for me and the bronzer is kind of reddish for me. So I'm gonna put this in the, if I can find a friend to give it pile, then I'll declutter it. Dior highlighter, quad i used to love this highlighter also i would still really recommend these highlighters but again i have these two highlighters and i do not nearly wear highlighter enough to like justify keeping this but i just have a hard time letting go of like luxury makeup so i think i'm gonna keep it anyways unfortunately same thing with the charlotte tilbury palette i do not use this nearly enough or as much as i want but we're gonna keep it I do use this, especially if I go anywhere on like a weekend trip. I don't know if you can tell, but I have dents and the bronzer and the powder. But my question is like, is it, am I ready to just get rid of this? Because I only use the bronzer and the powder and everything else is like meh. And if I want the bronzer and I want the powder, I might as well just buy it separately, you know? <sighs> Oh my gosh, I'm getting rid of this. And then I have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer Contour Palette. This comes in handy every once in a while, so we're gonna keep it for now. But if I don't use it by the next declutter often, I'll just get rid of it, but I'm just not ready to get rid of it yet. Okay, these are all of my lipsticks, my lip liners, my lip glosses. We're only halfway through this video and I'm already exhausted and ready to take a nap, but we're gonna power through this. If you're also decluttering with me, make sure you stay hydrated, get a snack if you haven't gotten a snack take a little bit of a break because making decisions is mentally exhausting sometimes and i wouldn't recommend to do this all in one day but i like to get things done and over with and that's what we're doing today anyways let's just dive right in to the lip products which is gonna be really hard for me because a lot of these are new i just started getting into lip products which means i have a lot more lip products anyways let's go with some lipsticks i have two that i need to declutter but i just can't seem to let go of it because of the packaging. They're from Charlotte Tilbury. One is from like Lunar New Year's collection from like two years ago. It's in the shade Sweet Blossom and it's such a beautiful shade that I just can't get rid of it. I also really like the Charlotte Tilbury satin formulas and then I have the shade in Nude Romance which I also can't seem to get rid of and um, I don't think I'm getting rid of them. <laughs> I just don't. Should I swatch them all? Swatching is a dangerous game but we're gonna do it anyways. I don't recommend swatching everything during your declutters because it's gonna make your life so much harder. Super fabulous matte lipstick from Charlotte. Also a gorgeous color. Again, these are all kind of new, so I don't even know if I'm gonna get rid of these. This is the e.l.f. Satin Lipstick in the shade Hustle. I'm wearing it today with a bunch of other lip products that I like to combine it with. Velvet Cinnabar from Lisa Eldridge. Gorgeous color. Don't really like matte formulas, but this color is just too good to not love. We have Milani lipsticks. Honestly, I think that these could be passed on. They're really good formula. It's a matte formula. I have the shade Tease, and I also have the shade in Pleasure. However, I recently just purchased them and I haven't given them enough of a chance. So I am gonna keep these. My favorite Makeup by Mario lipstick is in the shade Flat Iron. Favorite, favorite. I love it as a nude color with a liner. Here's what we can declutter. The Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils. I wanted to love these so badly, but I just don't. I have the shade Honesty and I have the shade Delight. Ugh, like, they're initially a lip oil, but then they stain your lips. And as I'm swatching this, I'm like, oh, 
Do I want to get rid of this though? Because that looks gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, these look really, really nice, but I don't wear them. And also they're leaking, probably because I haven't worn them enough. My problem is they look gorgeous at first, but they don't last long because it's a lip oil initially. And it's not like a long lasting lip oil. It's very thin, watery texture. And then it stains your lips, but it kind of dries out my lips and doesn't moisturize them. So now that I remember that, I'm just going to have to declare them unfortunately this is the tower 28 shine on lip jelly I highly recommend this formula it is so juicy slightly sticky but comfortable not in a disgusting way which i feel like a lot of people hate it's sticky enough to last long on the lips but i don't really like the shade xoxo i did get this set in pr and unfortunately the shade xoxo isn't something that i wear often so i'm gonna declutter it for that reason but i do want to get another shade in this formula because it's a really good gloss formula. I'm just going to go through all the things that I'm going to keep just to save some time because I know this video is going to be so long. Buxom glosses I'm keeping. These are my all-time favorite plumping glosses. Dior Lip Maximizer keeping. Patrick Top Plumping Glosses keeping. Rogue Beauty Peptide Lip Tints keeping. Chanel, I don't know what these are called. Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Gloss. <laughs> Definitely pronouncing that wrong. Keeping both of these. They do dry your lips a little bit, but I like the colors, so keeping. Victoria Beckham Posh Gloss in Tan Line keeping. Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tint in the shade Amour. All of my YSL candy glazes, y'all know I love these, so we're keeping. The Cluttering. Notorium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. I have the shade Chai and Spice. These, in comparison to the Road Peptides, are much stickier. They're just sticky. They're more like a gloss in my opinion. So unfortunately I don't really like these and I'm going to declutter them. Okay, let's get a fresh base for my hand to do more swatching. All right. Elf lip oils. I have the shade in Rose Envy and Honey, what is this called? Honey Tox. I don't need both. They're so sheer that you do not need two colors of these e.l.f. lip oils. So I'm going to keep the shade Honey Tox and declutter the shade Rose Envy. More lipsticks. This is Lisa Eldridge in Velvet Blush. This is gorgeous. Rare Beauty in the shade Wise. I don't really like the shade. It's almost too dark brown for me and I feel like it would look better on someone else. So decluttering and then the shade Baked from Sunny's Face, one of my favorite orange lipsticks, keeping that. The NVP Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I do not wear this, but it's such a gorgeous red and I feel like there's gonna be one day where I'm like, I wanna do a red lip. That day never comes. <laughs> but I'm keeping it anyways. Here are all of my lip liners. I'm keeping my Patrick Ta lip liners. I like this Give My Kim lip liner. Love the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Obsessed with the e.l.f. $2 lip liners. Makeup by Mario lip liner in the shade Angela. It's gorgeous. This is the Hourglass Phantom Gloss in the shade Trace. Also really pretty, so keeping. I feel like I could get rid and declutter, and I'm so sad because these are so hyped up. Why are they so hyped up? They are the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. People use them as a blend or they use them as eyeliner and I just don't like them. They're not good in my opinion. And the shades are okay on my lips, but I have so many other lip liners that I'm keeping that I feel like someone else might like these better than me. So we're decluttering, unfortunately. So hyped up and was so excited about them, but didn't end up liking them. Dior Lip Glow Oil. <laughs> This has seen better days and I finished and decluttered one already. And this one is gonna start getting old. I really need to like finish it up. So I'm going to keep this until I finish it up. Then I have the Benetint. I like this on occasion, so we're keeping. Also, I have the Rem Beauty lipstick in the shade Lingerie. Keeping, of course, this was a gorgeous color. Skin by Kim in the shade Nude Zero. What is this? It's so small, Nude Zero Six. I haven't been wearing this since the review that I made, but I do need to remind myself to rotate it to see if it could be a new favorite. So that's what I'm keeping a lot. Ah. 
This is everything that I'm keeping. I didn't say this was gonna be an organization video, okay? I'm gonna be organizing this in another video, so stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna throw everything for the sake of time right now in here. We finally made it to the last category, which is eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, all things, eyes, kind of, and some random stuff here and there. I've already done some major decluttering on my eyeshadows, so I don't have as much as I have previously, but I feel like there's probably still some adjusting we could probably do. Let's start with the eyeshadows first, actually, because that's probably what you care most about, right? In here is mostly my everyday eye products that I like to use, except some stuff that I just threw in here for the sake of this video, so give me a second. I know I'm keeping all of these. This is the Urban Decay Moonless Eyeshadow, y'all. I love this ish, so we're keeping. Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes Palette. Super expensive is really what it should have been called, but I feel like it's under heights and I really like this palette, so keeping. Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3, his matte eyeshadow palette. In love with this one, been using it almost every single day or every time I do my makeup. Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes. Truly a 2023 fave keeping and the YSL quad in the shade <gasps> did you see that shade fall out yeah too expensive um but I heard this was like defected and they recalled it and then fix the issue so I don't really know but I do really like this despite the problems with it so keeping Natasha Denona mini gold palette I'm not gonna lie y'all I think I'm ready to get rid of this I didn't expect to say that, but I just don't wear green eyeshadow like that. And it's still in beautiful condition, so someone else will probably love this more than I do. Someone who actually wears more colorful eyeshadow. I'm also going through this phase where I'm not wearing that much eyeshadow or not experimenting with colorful eyeshadow as much as I used to. So I can't really justify a lot of the products that I have right now. But I also don't want to get rid of all of them because I might go through that phase again and I would hate to have to repurchase everything. So keeping that all in mind. I also have two Charlotte Tilbury palettes. This one is in Celestial Pearl, which is honestly just a palette of topper shades. And then we have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Dreams. I think I'm ready to get, a, get rid of Celestial Pearl because it's just a palette of topper shades and none of them are breathtaking. And I have singles that I like better. I also prefer the Urban Decay Moon Dust over these topper shades. As much as I love the packaging, Again, maybe someone else will like this. What is, I have like this oil substance on my eyeshadow palettes. Oh no. I think it's coming from the About Face eye paint. I feel like these have expired on me. We're gonna check on those later. Anyways, the Glam Light palette, the Barbie Glam Light palette. I just love having a palette of colorful shades and my favorite colorful eyeshadows are blue, purple, pink, yellow and this palette has all of that so even though i'm not wearing colorful eyeshadow often i still want to keep a palette like this so that's staying around this is the mac connecting color eyeshadow palette i do really love this it really gives me that bridal eye makeup look so keeping i have pat mcgrath what is this called passion flirt palette keep Bing. Pat McGrath Voyeuristic Fixin. This has the most beautiful blitz shade right here, so obviously keeping that. One of my favorite palettes that I've recently repurchased because the other one was expired is the Huda Beauty. What is this called? New Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I'm saying it's my favorite and I forgot what it's called. It's a new nude eyeshadow palette. I got this, I think, 50% off during Black Friday or something like that. It just has all these purples and pinks. And I really missed it when I had to declutter it because it was expired. So happy to have this back. Another Huda Beauty palette is the Rose Quartz palette. And I have to take a deep breath with this one. I think I have to declutter it because the palette is just not what I expected it to be in real life. And when I make looks with it, I don't feel happy. So I am going to declutter this and hopefully someone else will enjoy it more than me. I can't believe I'm getting rid of that. That was a hard one. That's been sticking around for a while. Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude Palette. This is a really pretty one. So we're definitely keeping this. It's also fairly recent. I have, ooh, this one has been sticking around for a long time. And I actually think I might be ready to get rid of it, but like I'm clenching onto it because I'm like, oh, don't take it away from me. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. I think this was like a holiday palette from a few years ago and I can't get rid of it 
because I just love the formula. I love the formula of this. I can't convince myself to get rid of it. But the problem is, as much as I love the formula, I just don't love the color story and I don't reach for it as much. So I think it is time for me to get rid of it, but I don't want to, but I'm going to because I just don't I just don't use it. And now that I have eyeshadow palettes that I've fallen in love with, I think it's okay to get rid of this. Ah, okay, that one was hard. I also have the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. My mom got me this for Christmas in the shade Warm Neutrals. I actually haven't played with this enough, so we're gonna keep this around until I give it more of a chance. Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. Y'all, if you didn't watch my What to Buy at Sephora video, this one's my one of my favorite mini palettes from Natasha. Actually, it is my favorite because I've purchased so many mini palettes from Natasha, and I'm looking at this makeup collection right now, and this is the only mini palette that survived. I gotta go a little faster. Dirty Martini palette from Glam Light Keeping, Wine palette from Glam Light Keeping. These are all fairly new and I could get rid of them because I'm not wearing colorful eyeshadow as much, but you just never know. So I'm okay with keeping them. Icy palette from Glam Light Keeping, The Child's palette from ColourPop Keeping. This is the Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette in Bronze Bliss. I love these as topper shades. Keeping. This is the Glam Light Kisses palette in Milk Chocolate. This really got me. I got it at TJ Maxx, but this is also a perfect example as to why I can't be buying makeup at TJ Maxx because it's kind of impulsive and I don't need this. And I have so many shades that are like this. So I am just gonna, just gonna declutter it. I'm doing better than I thought actually. With the eye category, I'm doing way better than I thought because I did do a declutter in January and I felt like I wasn't getting rid of enough. And the fact that I'm getting rid of more now, very proud of myself. Now on my single eyeshadows, I don't have too many and I'm trying not to get too many single eyeshadows, but I do have three of the Bobbi Brown Luxe Eyeshadow Singles, the shade Moonstone, Melting Point, and the shade Heat Ray. This is so bad. I only like Moonstone. The shades Heat Ray and the shades Melting Point are just... They're more metallic than they are a sparkle. And I just, you know what, I'll keep melting point, but I might get rid of Heat Ray. Yeah, Heat Ray is just too orange for me. So we're decluttering that one. Then I have potted eyeshadows. Three of them are from Victoria Beckham. I have the shade Honey, Velvet, and Tea Rose. These are fairly new, so I need to give them more time. I got them in December and I don't feel like I've rotated through them enough. So we're gonna keep. Oh, I love this. This is the Hourglass Scattered Lights eyeshadow in the shade Reflect. If I were to compare Victoria Beckham to Scattered Lights from Hourglass, if you want more sparkle get hourglass if you want like sheen and sophistication without being glittery get Victoria Beckham those are the main differences between the two okay I just have like random stuff that I'm not gonna go through with y'all because it's boring I'm just gonna go through them to see if I want to keep them or not These are the About Face eye paints, and one of them, unfortunately, is leaking. What is the shade? Replicant? This is leaking. Ooh, but it's it's still working. Yeah, I'm keeping these. I just need to clean them up a little bit because I think they're leaking like an oily substance, which is annoying. I need to use these more, but I... Ugh. I'm just not in my colorful eyeshadow phase. This is just a reminder, Elle, if you're watching this while editing, stop buying colorful eye product. You have enough. So these are like all of the miscellaneous things that I'm keeping. They're literally just mascara, eyeliner, brow gel, eyelash glue, primer, things that I have like one-off random things. So I'm not gonna go through them and I know for a fact that I am going to be keeping them. I can finally take these off because we no longer need to focus that hard. I feel like I just like woke up from the dead. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know how many products you think I decided to declutter. I'm gonna guess a random number, a very specific number, and that's gonna be 48. Let me know what you think. Okay, let's go ahead and count. <laughs> 33, 34. I was kinda off, but also, kind of close, but also kind of off. <laughs> I also have this box of products that I am potentially decluttering after I make a video about them. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six products, I forgot. 
Charlotte Tilbury goes in the full-on declutter pile. So that means I decluttered 35 products and then I have six that is in limbo. Unfortunately, these products are fairly used, so I will not be donating these. I am gonna be giving this to friends and family. So that is all for my makeup collection declutter. Yes, did I just like throw all of this on the floor for the sake of a thumbnail? Yes, I did, but that's probably why you clicked on this video. If you wanna see me actually organize all of this in my vanity or clean out my vanity or potentially see a vanity tour, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I know this is not the most satisfying ending, but I promise you this is not the end of my spring cleaning or just cleaning and organization series in general. So hopefully you stick around. I appreciate all of your love and support. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. I can't reach the camera, so see you in my next one.